everyone so fucking stupid? Why aren't more people in carriage like me? I predict an earthquake up in here Cause we throw bombs on it, throw bombs on it Just smash something, yes, march for me, hey, yes We can make an earthquake up in here So here we go, we go in this video, I will be presenting an overview of Sean's past, present, and likely future. As you may have already noticed from my previous response videos to Sean, I don't really like him. So this response in particular is going to be quite ex an expressive point of view from myself because of his history from stealing from the children's hospital he promised to donate money to, where he quite happily pocketed the $3,500 from the 4000 he had raised. I have worked with a few charities myself and plan to become a youth worker to help raise money for holistic services like Click Sergeant. So the mere thought of someone like Sean stabbing him in the back and running off with the money really turns my stomach. From my observations of Sean, he preys on the kindness of people and quite happily tosses them aside and calls them dirt when he feels like it. A perfect example would be when DPR Jones, Thunderfoot, John Nowen 42, Fact vs. Religion and Talison helped him after the conclusion of his last Christian campaign on YouTube. And despite of his stupid behaviour towards them, they supported him and his father through a difficult time. In a discussion with them, he openly admitted that he had made some very poor decisions and choices through the content he portrayed in his videos. However, now he is back to promoting the same garbage as he once did. Regardless of his awful reputation for asking for donations, he still thinks he is more than worthy to receive financial support, and in spite of the fact that his father is no doubt currently funded for everything for him, along with the fact that he makes money from his current job. So what does he need the extra money for? And if he is that desperate for it, then why doesn't he just grow a pair of balls and earn the cash for himself, through hard work? Sean's behaviour now, where he has jumped back onto his high horse and calls himself superior, just demonstrates how much of a spineless little egocentric maggot he is. However, I think DPR Jones is a far more accurate description of him than myself. Venom Fang X is the most despicable person I have ever met in my entire life. All he has accomplished since he has returned to YouTube is basically redefine words like objective, speciation, and atheism. He insists something objective is from an external source, which couldn't scream more bullshit. Here's the definition of objective for you, Sean, from the Oxford English Dictionary. Something that is based on facts that can be measured or observed, and free of any bias or prejudice. The word speciation is defined as the evolutionary formation of new biological species, usually by one species that divides into two or more species that are genetically unique. And atheism is defined as the disbelief in the existence of a god or deities, which is the complete opposite to any sort of religious belief. Seriously, Sean, this has been done long before now. Perhaps if you could actually listen to the criticism, you could make more constructive points in your arguments. And last but not least, here is the latest from a discussion he had with my friend Michelle, regarding the death of Christopher Hitchens, where he is more than happy to judge him as unworthy and cast him into hell because Hitchens was an evil man. He also states how he is quite happy to support God's judgement over his parents, to cast them into hell as well. An evil man, Sean? Are you fucking serious? Just because the guy didn't believe in your specific God, he is evil. You are a useless little maggot compared to the likes of him, Sean boy. You are not fit to tie his shoelaces, let alone make retarded statements like you have. As well as stating that your own parents are going to hell is the equivalent to stabbing them in their backs. And to call yourself more worthy is truly unbelievable. Now, you can trust me when I say this, Sean, but I think there are more than enough Christians who want you off YouTube, let alone see you worthy to go into heaven. So, here's my advice to you for your future on YouTube. Only three words so you can easily understand it. Just fuck off. Don't bother with your meaningless apologies or goodbyes like you've done the last three times. Just fuck off. You're unbelievable. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and favorite.